Welcome back. It's a good thing that Daryl Sutter doesn't believe in the concept of momentum because right now heading into Game 7, it all belongs to the San Jose Sharks. Moments ago, the Kings coach addressed the media. Both teams have won three. It seems you had problems to get the first early with penalties. Yep. Richards was a penalty. Kopis was a penalty. It's not very good when you're number first since two centermen are sitting over in those good seats over there looking at you. Daryl, the team hasn't, the franchise hasn't played in a game seven since 2002. Pardon? The franchise hasn't played in a game seven Who cares? since 2002. Who cares? Is that, so should we have a major announcement tomorrow that we haven't played in game, haven't played in game seven? Just wondering if there was anything extra no, that you need to say? Not really, no. What's making the Sharks so effective? Well, I'm not sure the last series, but against us, we've only scored one goal in the three games. At the, at the yeah, I thought his line was really good. I thought Trevor and Kieran and Brownie were our best line. The Sharks' game plan tonight was to play faster and more elusive. Did you feel that coming from them? That was pretty even both ways. Both teams are going to play the same way. I think that they have big forwards that played that way, and we had some guys that played that way too. What's the key to Game 7, Coach? Pardon? What's the key to Game 7? I think f probably for us would be to stay away from those penalties early. Other than that, I thought we played pretty well tonight. Thank you. All right. Hey, how's it going? Good, you? You can't complain a lot. No sense bitching, right? Nobody's going to listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> good? Pierre, you done? I missed all of it. Were you good? Pardon? Was it good? Yeah, it was awesome. We haven't played a, I found out during the press conference that we haven't played a game seven since 2002. So I can't wait to get back there. Jeez. It's big for me. Oh, pretty entertaining. Well, Saturday well, Night Live. It, you know, this, but this is a guy that was nowhere near as engaging or funny or, you know, expressive a few years ago. He was a one tough hombre. He would really make payers play, and he made the media pay after the game as well. It's too good. That was, that's just great. <laughs> I, I don't know if I've laughed. By the way, I think what they were getting at is that in the last 20 years, L.A. has played just two game sevens, losses to the Avalanche in 01. Right. And O2. So, and as Daryl said, who cares? Uh, yeah, it doesn't make a difference. None of them. Yeah. But he did mention that, obviously, uh, penalties early, a huge factor. Right. Never a good thing when your top two centers are in the box at the exact same time. And it's, at this point in this series, never a good thing to take a delay of game penalty. Yeah, interesting. The team that has, has lost. And three times it's happened in this series. Going back to game two, it was the LA Kings that kind of stole a game. They were down one goal late in the third period when Velasic already down a man for San Jose. Chipped that one up and over the glass on the ensuing five-on-three power play. LA got one goal, and before Velasic left the box, they got another. It was the winner by... Trevor Lewis right there. San Jose lost that one. Went down 2-0 in the series. Game 3. Uh, Jake Muzzin flips it up and over for the LA Kings. And San Jose on the ensuing power play early in the first period. Takes a 1-0 lead. Went on to win that game. And of course we knew early in this one who was going to win because there was the delay of game penalty. Uh, Kopitar already with Richards in the box for LA. Chips it up and over and on the ensuing power play Thornton does the job. Yeah this was a, a real nice goal and the first goal and that seems to be the most important goal of any in this series. Uh, but all bets are off for this game seven. Uh, two really good teams playing pretty good hockey and, and make it very interesting. Kopitar's delay of game was the 23rd delay of game penalty in this postseason. Why do you think we're seeing so many of them? Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. Pressure, why. right? I guess it's probably, un yeah, people trying to get relieve pressure. But, uh, 
you know, that was by, the, the last one we just saw was by the thinnest of margins. It just sailed close to the glass. And I think they're going to have to take a look at that, particularly to make sure all the glass standards are, are equal and maybe even raise them a little bit more or change the rule completely. It was a game of inches, an inch over the glass, hitting the post four times, ultimately San Jose won. Todd McClellan's talking to the media. Uh, it would have been disappointing if we wouldn't have because it would have been a big momentum swing. Uh, but